What's up everyone? My name is Caroline of habitsinprogress.com and in this video I'll show you how to delete thousands of emails in just a few seconds. Before we dive in, I'd like to invite you to my free Facebook group called The Organized Entrepreneurs. So if you're an entrepreneur and you're scattered all over the place and you're a bit overwhelmed and stressed, everything is getting a little too much, this is the perfect group for you. In this group, I'll share weekly live trainings, tips, tricks, hacks, strategies, all the good stuff to help you get more organized in your business and take it to the next level. So if you want to get better results without all the stress and overwhelm, then definitely head down into the description, click the first link and join the group today. Looking forward to see you inside. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I'll show you the steps on my computer so you can follow along step by step. So this is one of my email accounts and as you can see, I like to keep them really organized. If you'd like to get to Inbox Zero as well, I'll link a video on top of my head. Definitely make sure to check that out as well. So in here, there's nothing that I could delete because it's already organized and I'll get to the quick steps in the end as well. But in here, you can't see that now, there's still a bunch of emails. So we have, a, so we don't have that many, I have 123 right now, but it doesn't matter if you have 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000. This method or this trick works with no matter how many emails you have. So in order to delete more than 50 emails in Gmail at a time, just go ahead and click the, the tick box on the left top side. And as you can see, this highlights all, or this chooses all 50 emails on one page. So if you just click that, then you could theoretically just by clicking on the trash or in the, on the delete button, you could delete all those 50 emails on one page. But if you have like 10,000 plus emails, that isn't very efficient, right? So what you also need to do is to select all, so in my case it's 123 conversations in social, or it would say in the kind of folder you're in right now. So just click that. And then as you can see, all my conversations have been selected. And now all you have to do is click delete and confirm it. And that's it. It takes a few seconds maybe for you, but that's it. Everything is gone. And so you can literally try that out for yourself. Even if you have 10,000 plus emails, this works. It takes a few seconds, three clicks. That's it. Super efficient. Now, if you don't really want to delete all your emails, but you just want to get them a bit more organized, here are two more hacks or tricks that will help you out. The first one is to create a bunch of labels. So as you can see, I already have a bunch of uh, useful labels created here. And so what this is, is they're basically folders and they will help you organize your email so you can either move them in there when they're coming in or you can set a filter. So this is the second tip, we'll get to that in a minute. You can set a filter so that it automatically enters into that folder straight away. So let's first start out with the label. So to create a new label, you click on more, scroll down, then create the new label, then you enter the name, so I'll call it example, click create. And as you can see, the new label has appeared in here. So now let's say you've received a bunch of new emails in your promotions tab and you're not really sure what to do with it or you've, create, you've received a bunch of emails that you'd like to keep in one specific folder. You could do the, literally the, the same things that we've just done, the same kind of steps. You will click select here, then select all conversations if you want to do that. And then instead of deleting it, you will click this little folder uh, with an arrow on it called move to and then you can just choose the folder that you would like to move it to or the label and in my case this would be example so I click on that then confirm it and now they're all in here so the other thing you can do is if you prefer to receive all a specific kinds of emails in a specific folder or label, you can also filter them. So I've done that with my newsletter. So you can see I have a label called newsletter inspo. And what I've done is I've selected uh, those kind of emails. So 
these are the kind of emails from specific senders and then once I receive it I would go in here then click on the three dots on top of it click filter messages like these so you can leave that as is then go to create filter and then one more thing that's quite important is that you first you uh, choose apply the label so in this case that would be newsletter inspo and then also click this checkbox skip the inbox so this means it goes straight away into the other folder but it skips your inbox because otherwise you have it in two places that doesn't really make it more organized so make sure to click that checkbox as well so that it immediately only goes into this folder and then you click create filter Okay, so bear in mind, this only applies for new emails coming in. So new emails from this sender from uh, Lavender will come into my newsletter inspo folder, but my old ones, if I still had a bunch of old emails from this sender, they would still sit in my main inbox and I would have to move them manually. Just keep that in mind. But as I've mentioned before, if you'd like to get the full step-by-step -step guide to uh, get your email, email inbox to zero and have good email management, then click the video on top of my head and check it out. Follow it step-by-step. It's super easy. And don't forget to join my free Facebook group, The Organized Entrepreneurs, where you'll get more strategies and live videos where I'll show you other tips like these, where you can also connect with like-minded people and get all, all organized together and grow our businesses to the next level. Looking forward to see you inside. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.